what is up everybody it is your boy suds it is drew here for you again with the season prediction show it is the nickel and dom show baby let's go <laughs> hey, that intro is killer though. I like love whenever, that like show, whenever, you, whenever like that shit drop and then they come up. Like I watch the whole thing every time woo! I'm editing. I'm hey, like, every time and like that's like usually when I'm recording it, I'll I'll like or not recording it, but I'll be playing it back for the first time. Yeah, I'll specifically listen to the like just I'll to let, let the beat drop and the bass pump. You I'm know what I'm saying? Like this is crazy. Sh- great idea for getting your boy to hook us up with that, man. I yeah, that. yeah, he he did his thing, man. We gotta we gotta definitely make sure we put him at the bottom of the style. Yeah. Like again, like you know what I'm yeah, saying? Just like to that. shout him out because I, I I love it, man. The real D Mac. We love you, boy. Um, Appreciate that intro song. But man, what do you think? I got the new uh, decorations. This is my desk area. This is where the, the magic happens, a.k.a. the hours of editing and whatnot. Yes, yes. And shout to you for doing all the, the wonderful editing that you see. But to comment on on, so on the occasion, it's, it's it's a great occasion. Like, I, I love what you did with the place, man. And, of course, in typical Drew fashion, five fitteds in the frame that we see oh, you know course. what i'm saying like a fitted for every occasion <laughs> this man gotta have my hats you know, around me man to make he, me feel this safe. is this is this is my suit hat this is my wedding hat <laughs> and then i have my after the wedding hat I, and i did have yeah, to ask you. my wife uh when it was appropriate at our rehearsal to put my hat on oh right like you should like right? you should i checked yeah. with the wife first though, so we're good Right, right. Don't want to get in trouble day one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nah, yeah. That's day zero. That's ground zero, man. Ground Wedding zero. day is ground zero. Yeah, yeah you don't so want to go yeah. home angry at that point. You know what I mean? Nah, not at all. Well, man, so, we got the uh, we got the whole season ahead of us, man. It is almost that time, so I guess let's uh, go ahead and get into our predictions for the season because I know mm-hmm. uh, I, I uh, trust your fantasy football knowledge as well as much as your football knowledge. So I definitely yeah, want to save yeah. time that's for the. the uh, Second half, the of second this half, year. right? Yeah, yeah, Sudsies, yeah. Do's and don'ts of fantasy football, so we definitely got to make. And sure there are some things that, that you must do. Yes, yes. There are some things that you must do. But honestly, man, like the the first half of the show, I'm I'm kind of excited about like talking oh, about man, the I season season predictions. We're picking like everything, everything. Like, right? We're picking yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like uh, I didn't um, I didn't set out to pick these teams right. to win per se. But once I put okay. it on paper and did like a bracket and like what I thought was actually going to happen. Right. I, I came up with some weird stuff, man. I'm not going to lie. Like it caught me wow, off guard okay. a little bit. So. It, it kind of did too. Maybe like I think once we actually get into it, like there is one team who I might have been a little bit shy on. But uh, I honestly think that they are going to be in the playoffs. I mean, it, like we're about to talk about it so like yeah, but well. i think this team is going to be in the playoffs when it all comes comes down to it like maybe right. it might have been different what what i said a couple of episodes ago but hey uh, so is life man so is well, life i well uh just in case uh any of these um little tidbits and notes that i'm about to drop at you mess, messes with your predictions we got housekeeping housekeeping yep, notes yep. uh real quick gotcha. for gotcha. uh mr joe mixon the Cincinnati yeah. Bengals got his four-year, forty-eight million extension. What you think about yeah. that running back getting paid? I think that he definitely should get paid because he was or has been like the the the, the shining piece on an offense that hasn't really done much to get that team over the top the last right. couple of years. Still um, putting up and yards. We this is the, you, we talked about a couple episodes ago. I am a Joe Mixon truth oh, no like doubt. i have been yeah. i like weirdly enough my I, like my girlfriend at the time but like we were talking about uh this post malone song that had come out <laughs> that had come out and like it was it was the first time that i had heard it weirdly enough guess what i was watching i was watching joe mixon tape the first time that i heard uh <laughs> this post malone song and oh, i was listening no. i've been listening i was listening to it ever since but uh okay. like watching this tape i made her watch the tape is basically what i'm trying to tell you Drew. <laughs> okay, like right. i made her, i made her is watch she the a tape, truther so. now is she a believer she should be i made her like uh not made her but like she i gave her advice last year on the draft and joe mixon wound up being on her team but uh you know I mean, she she didn't have it like we talked about this before but she did not have a great season but joe mixon was one of the shining stars so yeah, yeah. you know uh, i mean like i, I love life Mixon, a great player trapped on a bad team you know so yeah. it happens 
Uh, yeah, the last couple of years anyway, but he should have gotten paid, long story short. It's, right. it's well overdue. And for I mean, sure. you got a rookie quarterback, you want to have a veteran presence in that backfield, and they definitely got it with him and Gio. You know what I mean? So that's a nice yes. little safety blanket yes. for, for baby baby Burrow. Yeah, for what Joe can do and then what Gio can do, like, I honestly think it's a great backfield. Oh, it's that's one why of, I think I'm glad they stayed together. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Hopefully, AJ can get back, man. I mean, we, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, well, we'll uh, going from one happy running back to. He could be happy too, you depending on how you look at it. He got out of Jacksonville. Uh Jags released Fournette out of nowhere. Mm. What? Yeah, like it was it was r- some rumored turmoil there, man, but Ooh. uh I didn't I didn't see that coming. Uh no. but I don't and I don't think he's making that much. So somebody is about to get a a, a hell of a good back, man. You better I mean, not go even, to Tampa Bay, man. That's all I'm saying. I mean, <laughs> I I, honestly, like, I, I don't know what could happen in that situation. Like, by all indications, Ronald Jones is the guy, right? Like, and, by all I mean, indications, he's the guy. So what does that shot, say? You know? For sure. Like, so what does that say if you bring in a Leonard Fournette with a Shady McCoy? Like, I could see if yeah. they didn't have Shady McCoy there, but right. they do. So that, you, make, that would make it interesting. You think they're a little upset that they're like, man, we should have waited a week? <laughs> because, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Uh, uh, mm, Maybe. I Maybe. mean, it That's is a all business. I, can say. I could see I can Shady say. getting released and picking up for nothing. That would I mean? that would like, be it is a revolving door. Sometimes that would. I mean, pun intended. That would be Shady. Would it not? Yeah, like that. Right. Would, that would be a little shady. Yeah. I mean, Kansas yeah, City. Just, he just stopped playing in Kansas City out of nowhere, so it wouldn't be the the first time. Yeah, and been by Andy Reid too, man. That, yeah, that, kinda, that was his boy. I don't that know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, another weird thing that kind of slipped by since we last talked. Uh, Vikings linebacker Cameron Smith had heart surgery. He had an enlarged heart Yo. that they found due to a false positive COVID test. That's crazy, man. Right? Like, that's crazy. They said, uh, you know, like, they or they suspected, I guess, uh, that, you know, long-term myocarditis, you know, like, yeah. is a symptom of COVID. So, like, yeah. I mean, I'm glad that they found it, and hopefully right? they can get that corrected. I mean, heart, heart issues ain't nothing to... Uh, ain't nothing to mess with, man. I see nah. it every day, so... I mean, ever since, uh, you know, the basketball players have just died on the court yeah you know what i mean like that, yeah that's scary but in a little lighter news vikings trade for that de- defensive end uh i'm gonna go ahead and let you say his name because i'm not prepared to say yannick and gackway L- listen Ngakwe. his name is Fool. yannick and gackway and not drew it's not the first like there's i got the first dude there's there's a lot of a lot of like real professional like media types that like have tried to say this dude's name okay. and just like will butcher it like i it learn, learn it, yeah. Uh, I, I think it's a, absolutely a great, great move by Minnesota to get him in there with uh, uh, Daniel Hunter. Um, yeah. It like that dude. If any, if you want to see what a defensive end should look like, like in a textbook, like look at the Daniel Hunter dude. That dude is rocked up, bro. <laughs> like he is very, he is a scary looking dude. Um, but him and Yannick, that that is that is that could be filthy, nice bro. Like punch. that, that could be filthy. Yeah, and not so, a lot of great really offensive like lines in that division. So. Yeah, and he took he took. I mean, it's it was good for him to honestly take less to get to a better situation because in oh, the doubt. end, he's still gonna want up making that money back, yeah, right? Like he's yeah. still gonna want to make that he money produces, back. He produces, it'll come right it. back. So yeah, yeah, and he and he and he should like, and he's still a young guy too, which is even better for him. So yeah, nice. All right, well, dealer's choice. You want to start off with AFC playoff teams or NFC playoff teams? Mm, I think we gotta go. Let's do let's do this let's let's do the AFC let's do the AFC first okay. and then right. end up end up with the NFC because the NFC is like honestly let's just go and be honest about it it's it's the money division yeah like it's it's the I, money I a, division I had a tough time there's with so the much NFC. I'm not gonna lie yes because it's time. it's a lot of parity there's a lot of good teams at the top which I mean honestly is gonna make for some very exciting football uh come January barring yeah. the season goes off without a hitch right no so doubt. I will yeah. uh it, I will say this I did double down what you got from me. On the uh, division previews, I stuck with it. If I said a team was going to be second in their division, then they had the chance to make the playoff. So I, st- I doubled okay. down, I'm sticking wow. with what I said. All right, I'm. Uh, I, bro, I like so from my approach, right? I guess we, you know, talking about approaches. Like for my approach, I basically just looked at the teams and like looked at their like looked at their schedules and like really went on a lot of gut feelings about what I think are going to happen with these teams and if it if it differs from the predict from the division previews so be it like I would rather like I <laughs> want to what I said I said <laughs> right I want to 
just kind of go with what I feel. And, it, it, like, I go on gut feelings all the time, man, and, and it usually, like, you know, works out for me. So, like, okay, I, okay. I think it may shock, but if it doesn't, it doesn't, and that's just being consistent. But what I'm saying is all bets are off, baby. Gotcha. All bets okay. are off, right? I like it. So, it all right, well, uh, who you got number one seed getting the bye? I have the number one seed. This should not be a surprise. It is the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, I I just don't see anybody unseating them right now. Nah. Um, I think that maybe with a little bit of the drama from the from the second seed. I mean, it, just one other seed. But like, I don't know if I wanted me to go ahead and get into it. But like, I don't think the Ravens can overtake them from getting that bye. Um, yeah, the Chiefs just they're too powerful, too too deep. Gotcha. Um, well, I, I agree with you. Those are my one-two seeds in the AFC. I got Chiefs, Ravens, one-two. Because, I mean, this okay. is the year that that number one seed is super important. Super important. Yeah. Yeah, and, like, it's the, it's the only team that, that gets a buy, right? So, like, yeah. especially come that late in the season, maybe you get some people back. Maybe you get, like, a little bit of nagging injuries, a little like a little bit more rest. So, yeah. it's it's more important now than, than any other year. So, okay. I, just like you, I got, I got the Ravens, too, number two seed. Who you got for the number three, though? The Titans, the Tennessee Titans. Ooh, okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. so they what they I think last season they were the sixth seed, the fifth or the sixth, right? I can't I can't actually yeah. remember, but yeah, they, barely they were in there. Last year. Yeah, yep. they were in there. I think they were in the. And then they went to the it. AFC Championship game. Exactly. So like, I, I actually like that makes for better football when the wild card actually is a wild card and throws everything out. Oh of the yeah, portion, that's right? what I, that's I what love. I love. But for me, uh. I do like the Titans pick, though. Uh, very consistent from them, which means Tannehill is obviously getting it done. Let's talk about that a little bit more. Like, talk about the Titans like a little bit Did, more. Well, if we I saw, go ahead, I saw a funny thing today where they simulated the Madden season, mm-hmm. and Ryan Tannehill was the MVP of, of the, the whole, league of the whole season of the league. Ooh, yeah. Tannehill yeah. balling. Tannehill. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I that I just like that whole sentence is weird, right? It like, also said the I Chargers mean, were winning the Super Bowl, so <laughs> with what I you don't know. Want, you know? Tyrod. Uh, <laughs> now they actually had uh, Herbert coming in and doing work. Matt Second Wilder, most man. passing Matt yards Wilder. in the league as a know. rookie. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but if they actually get the three seed, man, that means Tannehill's balling. That yep. maybe means Corey Davis maybe stepped up. They have another receiving threat like there. Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry obviously earning that big payday. Uh, yeah. If they're getting the three Which seed, they're winning a lot of games. Yes, yes. Yeah, no, I think uh, so. And I think uh, Vrabel gets the defense a little more. Like, yeah, they lost. Ooh, Ryan. Yeah, they lost they Casey, lost. yeah, but they still yeah. balling. Yeah, but I, I think Vrabel will get them and back. And Ryan and Logan, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, and that's like with, with what he did last year, I actually don't see them falling off like that, so I wouldn't be surprised. Um, maybe my three seed might, might shock a little bit of people, Drew, but uh, I got the Indianapolis Colts, man. Ooh. Like. Yeah, you know I'm high on the Colts, man. You I know I'm high on the I got Colts. the Colts, it was a man. Shoot between I, me, it, yeah. for me, for the Titans and the Colts, I definitely I, got the Colts. Uh, little little uh, preview got the Colts making some noise. Oh, I like it, but yeah, for me, man, I got them at the three seed. And like, honestly, when I really looked at their schedule, man, like I I could see them getting saucy, man. If like if things yeah. go right, if things Jonathan click, Taylor, man. yeah, if John, like honestly, like. I don't see Marlon Mack really being the guy. Now Marlon Mack is a viable running back. Don't get me wrong, yeah. but he'll get it. He'll get some with, touches. He has to because of how dynamic he is. But Jonathan, I really believe in Jonathan Taylor and what that I offense can do if he gets rolling. The offensive line around Philip Rivers. Hopefully, these receiving weapons can kind of step up. The young guy, Michael Pittman Jr. Um, he is a good. He is a good receiver. A good number two. Yeah. Maybe T. Y. can actually play sixteen games. Like, I hope so. there's a lot that can go right for that team and that young defense, man. So, I got them getting a the three seed, man. Who you got okay. for your four seed? Uh, the four seed. I got the Bills from Buffalo. Okay. All right. Lockstep. Got the bills. Got the bills. Oh, look at yeah, that. I got them. Yeah. yeah I, okay. like, I, I like think, that. I, uh, like I think that. Buffalo is gonna gonna take charge of the AFC East. Uh, I I mean I definitely don't think the Patriots take that much of a step back. Uh, okay. If Cam's doing what he's doing in camp, like everyone's talking about, uh, but I definitely think the Bills. It's their division to lose, and I think uh, they've been making progression every year, and I think this is the year they take the take the title. Yeah, and let's and let's not forget that's what it is though. That's what it is. These top four C's that we're talking about are Winning your division winners. Those are yep. your division winners. So that means without 
uh, you know, Tom Brady in the AFC East uh, with Miami being a little bit more competitive than people think. But yeah. the Bills being the real the real consistent winners. And like I, I think we talked about this before, Drew, but like let's 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 be a pro pro this person show. Sean McDermott is a hell of a coach. Like he is a Why hell is he not of the a coach, coach of Carolina. Why I don't is he know, not the man. Coach? I, I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know. They messed that. They I love messed that, that man. <laughs> he's like yeah. he's like uh your your dad left to go get cigarettes. But you <laughs> you can see where he left. You can watch him every day. He's not talking to you. He's not wanting to be your dad. But he's there, and you see him. It's terrible. It hurts. <laughs> it, that, it hurts. Yeah, that stings a little bit, don't it? Yeah, that I think that's why bit. I got no, a I, soft spot in the bills for it. That's my, like, I, yeah, I, I secretly he, pull for him, you know? He's, I, yeah, he's he's a great coach, man. But, like, I think he has those guys more consistent. They get that four seed. They win that division. So, um, I guess, like, I'll just go ahead and get right into it, man. Like, What's your first wild card seed, team? My first wild card team. The Cleveland Browns, baby. Woo! The Cleveland Browns, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. I think as much as if I got a soft spot for the Bills, you got that same soft spot for the Browns. I like. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Like, I honestly think that this is the year that they do it, man. Like, I think that this is the year that they do it. Um, okay. I just with with. I honestly think the mentality maybe like really have started to change there. Like, they actually like they know that they, this is the season that they need to do it. Stop being a, like talking about it. Stop being a team of destiny and like actually fulfill it. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. I really think that they can do that this year. Miles Garrett back focused. If he has like a monstrous season, like he was on pace to have before he like some things got derailed for him. Uh, I mean, he's an early favorite for, for defensive they, player of the year. That's for sure. Yeah, and this is like, and this is like, we're, this is like maybe I'm more of an optimist, but like I really see it going right for them. Um, losing some games, but yeah, not losing enough to not be in the playoffs. Obviously, so okay. like I, I think really you think can lose can some it. games and be a, a factor in the wild card with the AFC. Yeah, and that's the first wild card. I got them winning the first wild card seed. Yeah, like five, okay. baby. All right. Yeah, I got the. Uh, we've already touched on. It. I got the Colts. It's the first wild card. Okay. Uh, you know, yeah. like I think Rivers so not that is far off from where I have weapons. Them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's really a toss up. The Titans or the Colts can be that three or five for me. Um, okay. But I think that I think some good things happen in Indianapolis. Uh, I think that defense is a lot stronger than people are giving them credit for, and I think uh, Philip Rivers is going to be nasty with some weapons. Yeah, and now like I really, oh, excuse me. Really love the weapons that he has. Like I said, mentioned John Taylor. Um, very, very, ah, maybe a little bit of foreshadowing. I'm not going to say it. We'll talk about it a little bit later. But uh, really like that running back core. Really like that yeah, running back core. I do too. Yeah, and uh, might this might get you catch you a little bit off guard. Uh, number six here. Okay, the All right. Steelers. Oh. Pittsburgh Steelers. They find okay. a way every year, man. I don't. They think this really do. Different. Like, they, they just really. Do. They're there. And they, like, they've it, missed it, uh, and I think I, they get you back. You just, you. I feel like you can't have a playoffs without the Steelers. Like, and you're you're right, Drew. No. Like, they just find a way to like win games. Like, I right I, I, every I, time. I don't understand it, man. <laughs> every time I don't get every it. time I don't get it, man. They're there. Yeah, yeah. Like, nah. like, oh, the Steelers are there. Oh, okay, cool, cool. cool. Yeah, and it's more like when they're not there, it's just like a whole different vibe. Like, you just expect to it see is. them. It doesn't in seem the official, almost. You know, right? It's, it's almost it's ceremonious. Like how how yeah. bad for other teams, man. But yeah. I don't know. Um, so my six, man, I have the Tennessee Titans. I have there the Tennessee go. Titans. I knew they'd yeah. sneak in somewhere on your list. Right, right. They have to, man. I think there's there's too much on that team. The running game late in the season. I think you saw it last year with Derrick Henry yeah. really running people over um as long as Tannehill Hill can play consistent Hill. yeah and this time they and like at the beginning of the season they don't like they don't have Marcus Mariota there mucking it up you know what I'm saying like it's it's no question mucking it up yeah <laughs> it's Tannehill's Marietta team Mariota mucking uh, it up mucking it up uh <laughs> like they got I can see there. I bet a coach has said that to him at some point <laughs> you're just in there mucking it up <laughs> they, they definitely the said that <laughs> <laughs> did he, yo, did, did Marcus Mariota tell him, tell the coach that the spit hit him in the face, or he just let it yeah. roll? What, no, which one? he just let it go. He was like, yes, he, did, he didn't say, he didn't say anything, did he? No. You think uh, that man speaks up? Come on. <laughs> nah, he, he really don't, man. Um, uh, but yeah, so like Mariota, I he's out of there. It's Tannehill's team, right? So yes. Uh, hopefully, and with AJ Brown, I mean, like 
AJ Brown, like we gotta mention him, right? Like he's right. clearly number one receiver. Superstar material. in the making. In the making. I wanna see him follow it up though. So too much to go right on that team. I really like him. Um so I guess what that's that's me for the seventh, right? Is that me? Yeah, what you got? Last All last right, man, spot so making it in by the there. I like now that I, I just said like five minutes ago, like I was like he was wilding for having the Chargers in there, but I have the Chargers in there, so I'm calling myself out on that one. <laughs> okay. Like I got the All Chargers right. at the, the Chargers number seven that spot. Last spot. Yes, okay. the Chargers All getting right. that last spot, man. Um and this is well this is Honestly, before we we talked about it earlier, but uh, Derwin James, or maybe we didn't talk yeah. about it, but like Derwin yeah. James going down. So maybe that, that changes. But, uh, you know, for what I had in my notes, I had the charges there. I hope that I, I really don't know how you replace that. But if they can nah. solidify that back in, then I definitely think they could sneak into the playoffs and be that team. Okay. Do they make yeah. the playoffs with Herbert or Tyrod? Tyrod, man, they make it with okay. Tyrod. Yeah, okay. and uh, right. I think that they, I think, I think Herbert goes the, uh, the, um, you know, the Alex Smith, uh, you know, Kansas City like route, like he has okay. the veteran play in front you. of him, like yeah, yeah. since maybe the plays year, the last and then game like of plays the season play, if it's not right, the Patrick like Mahomes route, like the Patrick yeah. Mahomes okay. route, yeah. So and then they get rid of happens. Tyrod and it's Justin's team next year. Basically, you know, or, or figure out something to do. Like maybe try like Tyrod. If, like if, honestly, if Tyrod's getting him to the playoffs, right? That means he's, he's good enough to, that he's probably a tradable asset, yeah. right? That's exactly yeah, yeah. exactly. So I really okay. like it. Who you got, man? Well, I got that final seed sneaking in the Patriots. I got the New England Patriots. Whoa! I was like making the playoffs. Wow that that shocked I gotta, me. Like I got a my boy my boy Cam's gonna do it, man. He's gonna do it. I'm not yeah. saying he's going to be successful in the playoffs, but yeah, yeah, I think they'll be the first team to get beat by the Ravens in the in the uh, playoffs. The the Patriots, okay, so they'll like the Patriots will play, fall and the yeah. Ravens, the Ravens yeah. move on. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I uh, bro, I'm gonna tell you, man. Like that's now that I'm thinking about it, it's not that outlandish, man. Because like they had a great yeah. defense last year. They got the number, like arguably the best cornerback in the in the league, right? In Stephon Gilmore. Yeah. Um. Their secondary solid. If they can figure out the way to to kind of, you know, they will. They'll figure it out. I, I, that, that's figure it out. <laughs> that's that's the that's the problem. Like I'm basically I, like, betting can't, on Belichick count that. to figure it out. Not only that, but Cam that like Cam. You talked about it a couple of shows ago, but man, but Cam is motivated. Man, like I pumped. mean, I I honestly don't think that they have seen the last of this Patriots team. Now that I'm thinking about it, but I got nah, the Chargers. You got the Patriots um, yep. without Derwin James and. Really thinking about those Patriots, it's not at that that outlandish that you could be right yeah. exactly right about that, and I could be way off and wrong. So gotcha. I like well, it. Uh, I like it. Who you got in the uh, the AFC? I got uh, so just break down my bracket real quick. I got the Colts right. beating the Bills in the first round, a little upset, five over four. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I got the Ravens taking care of the Patriots, the Titans taking care of the Steelers. Then I got the Chiefs beating the Colts, Ravens beating the Titans, and we finally get our Chiefs Ravens AFC Championship game. Mm. Uh, yep. So this, let's see, the seven is going to play the two, right? Two. So yep. I got Three, the Ravens six, over four, the five. Ravens. Yeah, Ravens over the Chargers. Uh, okay. I got the honestly, I got the Titans over the Colts, probably on okay. the road. Okay. Um, okay. The four and the five. I'm gonna take the Browns, bro. I'm gonna take the Browns. Oh, so okay. like, right. who does? So then, who does? Who then the that? Chiefs so play like, the lowest seed. Chiefs are basically gonna play the. Who did I have? Uh, the Titans. Chiefs. Ooh, yeah. Chiefs. I got Chiefs yeah. over that. Um, let's see. I got the Browns got and the Ravens, Ravens. I think. Yeah. yeah Browns and the Ooh. Ravens. Ravens. Ooh. Chiefs. Ravens. Okay. Yeah, Chiefs. Chiefs Ravens. Ravens. All right. Who you got as your yeah. AFC champion? Um. Honestly, man, I think. They hit a wall for some reason, and I'm taking the Ravens. Like, okay, I'm taking the, the Ravens, Ravens finally yeah. get over the hump. Okay, yeah, late in the season, right. I'm taking the Ravens. Yeah, nice. I got Chiefs. I got Chiefs representing the AFC Super Champs. Okay, all right, I dig it. So. I dig it. I mean, there, I don't think you can go wrong with either one of those teams. Nah. But like, nah, let's just get the matchup that we want, right? Like, do what you need right. to do, get to the game, and let's get the matchup that we want, right? Right. That's what we want to figure it out. Yeah. Hopefully. All right. NFC. NFC time. The money division, baby. The yeah. money division. Who you got? Like uh, who you got getting that buy? Who's that number one seed for you? The number one seed, all bias aside, 
the New Orleans Saints, man. I, hate, I, I hated the. Duel. I got the. Yeah. I got the New Orleans Saints as another. Yeah, issue. I mean, I, if Kamara gets traded, we're gonna talk about something else though. Oof, yeah, Kamara. That's a game changer. Hold out though, Kamara. Yeah, a little hold out. I mean, I think they're gonna want to get it done, out. man. They'll figure. They have to yeah. because like he's he's too integral to what they do. Even if like he might have had a, a, a un Kamara like year last year, he still did work, right? Fun. He still yeah. did work. So like he's integral to that, and they were still as successful as they were because he's on the field, right? If he's not on the right. field, it it throws their offense off a little bit no, so they need yeah. to get that it's done and they will so he'll be there they just need to pay him like honestly yeah, like i, I saw uh, yo i saw a graphic uh earlier today that was like uh looking the next year the free bro the free agent running back class it's ridiculous is man. Deep, ridiculous. Bro. if y'all yeah. don't know like look it up man the, the free agent running back class coming out uh for 2020 2021 or whatever you want to call it but it's it's deep a lot of a lot of a lot of yeah, movement dude. gonna happen yeah yeah so well, who you got with that number two seed? Number two, I have the San Francisco 49ers. San Francisco 49ers for the number two seed. Ooh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got, like it. Who I, you got? I got the Seattle Seahawks. Ooh. I think we got a, uh, I think we got a, a Colts uh, a Colts Titans thing with us. You know what I mean? Like, uh, okay. But, just, I mean, I definitely think the like 49ers like, could be there. But I you think, think they're the going to be strong enough to be the two seed, though? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think DK Metcalf has a big jump this year. Oh, I think yeah. him and Lockett. I can see it. Carson could get his act together. I, I think I think big things in Seattle this year. Yeah, I mean, I honestly, I could I could see it, man. If Carson plays sixteen and, and does the kind of damage that they they want a their running back to do, then yeah, they could they could get off, man. If that if that defense comes up. Bob, I want Bobby Wagner to to have a a, a Bobby Wagner like season. I mean, like I honestly, it, 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 it. I think that whole defense it, is shot in the arm with Adams coming over. I think that whole true. defense. That's is very like, true. We're back. This, like, we're, dude, this have is you seen? Seattle, well, I know, you know we talked about it before. Like, you had to, you saw that dude diagnosing plays, man. Like that dude is he's so he's cerebral, a genius. man. He's he's, a football he's such genius. a dynamic, and football he's got player, the man. physical tools to do it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I consider myself a smart person football wise, but. Right. <laughs> can't do it you know I mean? like, you got yeah, both i'm with you there I'm, I'm with you there I, i'm i'm horrible at it too man um yeah. but who do you have so who do you have as your three though oh this might catch some people off guard i got the, right. the cowboys dallas cowboys at the three wow yeah. okay all right yeah that means that means zeke that means zeke got off i mean you know what i'm saying like oh, no and, oh man zeke has a great oh if the if the if the cowboys uh just thinking about it man if the cowboys like go off like that Dak Prescott like how much money is that guy gonna make is he gonna make it with the Cowboys that's the important part I mean I don't think he can <laughs> I mean like I I don't know if he can like if, if he if they get the three seed man they gonna have to pay that dude some serious so cash much I don't money. know if they, they, they I don't know if they can afford it though so much money yeah but you got it three all right so for three I I know we like this is gonna sound crazy man but the Green Bay Packers, man. Like, okay, all right. I got the Green Bay Packers uh, okay. with the three seed. I think Aaron right. Rodgers is going to get it done regardless. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, and I think the receivers step up too, right? And then um, I think Adams maybe has, goes off. Adams, yeah. If he like, if he does, man, like he like we talked about. I think he he's going to have to one have more than a thousand yards, like that that weird <laughs> that weird stat. Yeah. But like he goes off touchdown wise. I think he has both this season. Obviously, them getting over the hump, getting that three seed. Yeah. That's a dangerous team. Well, so, yeah. Well, I hear you because I got them at the four seed. So okay. I got the Packers All right. at number four. So we're right there. Matter of fact, we got them flip flop. So I got the Cowboys at the four. There we go. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, so we I got still the, got like, the same. At it now. Right. We yeah. still got those two winning their division. This flip flopping right. in, in the in the yeah. playoffs. I think the okay. Cowboys are just the best in like the the NFC East. I don't think the NFC I think East the is per se that fall strong. Off. Yeah. I think the I don't, Eagles are gonna be doomed this year. I don't know why. That's just a gut feeling I got that the Eagles. Are gonna be not bad. going, yeah. I like. I'm kind of with you on that, man. Like, I just like I don't have a bribe lineman to play certain spots. <laughs> like, I, just, I don't mm. putting that see. putting that out there. What are newspapers oh, yeah. at? Oh, wait, people don't buy newspapers anymore. What do I talk about? I'm like, <laughs> where's the yellow pages at? <laughs> Yo, I'm but like, they, 
they uh I, I don't see it for them either man like uh and i think the cowboys are the best in the in a, in a bad division right like yeah, but no they still are going to be a dangerous team like the the best in the bad division i say but i don't think they're a bad team with all those receiving weapons that they have with zeke no. with dak i think dak plays well enough to to yeah maybe I, price himself out of dallas you know what i'm saying yeah i mean i think he can just throw it up and one of those receivers is going to be somewhere close to make a play you know what okay. i mean like they'll figure it I, out you got for your first wild card my you first wild card chance, what you got uh my first wild card almost uh taking over the division but it's the tampa bay buccaneers ah, baby here we go we there get over is. the hump i love it the bucks in the playoffs baby tom brazy getting it done i love it man he's coming <laughs> He gets it done. Chris Godwin, Mike Evans, obviously <laughs> Ronald Jones going off. Shaq Barrett, Jason Pierre-Paul, like everybody doing work. Devin wow. White having a having a monster season. Devin White going to his first Pro Bowl. Levante David having an All-Pro season. This is what we're talking about, folks. The number five team making some noise, getting into the playoffs, baby. I love it. Sorry to get so hyped, man. I just I love I can see he it. Like has so much enthusiasm for his team. And he didn't put him at the one seat. Like, I respect that. That's fantastic. Like, Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm going to be true with it. I'm going to be true okay. with it. Like, okay. And this is what I honestly feel. Like, I think the Bucks get over the hump this year with that young defense. And I think they get in the playoffs, man. Like, this is the year to do it, bro. This is the right? year to no, do it. I got you. Right? Yeah. No. And I like. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. I, no, I'm, no. I'm I, 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 I agree with you. I think, I think the Bucks have some growing pains early on, but they right the ship. And I think. They're going to be, and I mean, as you'll see with my bracket for the NFC, I think they're going to not, they're going to be very dangerous come playoff time. Right. Like you I don't you. teach, you don't teach that playoff experience that Brady and Gronk have. You know what I mean? Like right. that's there. That's ingrained. You and with I mean? uh, so, with Bruce Arians too. I mean, I think the coaching oh, yeah. staff is is seasoned enough to get this team, this young team with a mix of great veterans over to home, man. I really do. I really do. Yeah. I think it's going to be fantastic. I think they're going to be great. Right. Uh, with my first wild card, though, I got the 49ers. Oh, so it's so a so a drop off. Did they? I don't think they were a wild card team last year. Like they won, did they win? Their, they won their division, right? Yeah, I think they won yeah, their yeah. division. I, yeah, that's, so like, I think that's a drop I got the Seahawks them, okay? sneaking them out. I got the Seahawks right. sneaking them out. It's got to be they're somebody, be the right? best team. Like they're going to be one of those where they got a better record than the Cowboys yeah. and Packers. You know, what which I mean? also means like I mean I don't know how the rest of yours is going to shake out, but if that's the case, especially how you have it, what a disappointing season for the Rams. But go ahead, bro. Yeah, oh, again, fault. another I mean, disappointing I mean season off. for them. Right? No, you're good. I think <laughs> I think the Niners have the what the the if not the best defense in the league. Um, I think uh, uh, that defensive coordinator is due for a head coaching spot at some point soon. Um, yeah. I think this is a, another great year for the 49ers, I, uh, but I think mm. we'll get to it. But I, I, don't, I think I got 49ers at five. We'll stop there. Okay. <laughs> All right. 49ers at five. Um. So who you got at six? Who you got at six? The Buccaneers, Tampa oh, Bay. Let's go. Yeah. No, I don't know why. What like weirdly enough, man? When you said it, I don't know why, but I could just see Steve Smith doing that Buccaneer dance. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you remember when y'all were whipping our ass and he, uh, oh, man, he did that little yeah, Buccaneer yeah. dance? But for some reason, yeah. when a Panther fan said it, that's what I saw in my head. But like, it was like it was a happy that's memory fair. this time because like fair. usually it's a painful Keep memory. Down. I don't know, but what you what you got? Like, why do you think the Buccaneers are gonna make? It? I want to hear you tell it though. Like I said, man, the, the, Tom Brady. I never bet. I've learned over the last 35 years to not bet against Tom Brady. Right. <laughs> He'll figure it out. I don't care if that right. man is wheeled onto the uh, huddle every game. Uh, he's going to figure it out, and he's got Gronk, a familiar face there. And right. that wide receiving core is just too much to to not give props to. Uh, and like you said, okay. names, na- names on names on names on defense. So, yeah. uh, I mean, I very true well enough. could see I mean, them. True if, things click, if things click soon enough, they could be that number one seed. But I got them at yeah. six for right now. Okay. All right. Six seed still making the playoffs. Like I don't, I don't care. Honestly, like I don't care what seed that they no. are. Just get in there, man. All you like, gotta just do is get, get in the playoffs, there. and they'll right. they will, and, they'll and find ways to win. For the fans, man. Like give it yeah. for the fans. Like, get in there for your <laughs> for fans. fans. Like that's what I'm saying, man. So I um, I guess that means I have for my six seed. I have yeah. the Seattle Seahawks. I have okay. Seattle Seahawks. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We're saying the so, same teams. It's okay. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we, I think we we're definitely in lockstep on the teams because it just seems that these teams that we have said so far are just like the cream of the crop. Like they have the strongest yeah. teams, a lot of yep. depth, good coaching. 
um you know and then, and then, and then a good mix of uh of young talent and that's just like yep. a recipe for playoff success man like no doubt. especially like whether whether your team is like if you are a kind of a coaching led all around team like the Seahawks you're you're probably going to get in there or if you're in like an offense like the Saints like that offense is going to get you to the you know what I'm saying like and then they got yeah. that deep it's just like it's just a it's a recipe for success no matter if it's no. a little bit different it's the same I teams agree. at the top man so yep. yeah no doubt who you, who you have uh, that, for your seventh though I got just sneaking in the Minnesota Vikings word I got the Vikings yeah, because what's the, what's the, the NFC Vikings. playoffs without the Vikings trying to beat the Saints? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, you got to, like, I guess the way I have it, they would have to pass the Niners to uh, to do it. Yeah. But, I mean, not only that, but, like, now that what you think this definitely, does this solidify it for them with you now that they have Yannick and Gakwe? Like, does that yeah. put them over the top? No doubt. Because you know I was worried about some some of the losses they took on defense. So this, okay. this shores that up a little bit. So I think yeah. I think this is enough to get them in. I mean, I got the Eagles and the Rams on the outside looking in. I think the Vikings are a better team than both of them. So yeah, that makes sense. I, I think we I think we have the teams that that are definitely going to get in. Um, there could right. be maybe a couple of surprises there, but like I don't see it coming Not from the much. NFC East. Maybe uh, the Rams. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like I just I don't yeah. I don't know. They I don't can really figure see out it. the run game. You know, I don't if Cam Akers goes off, maybe. Yeah, well, and I think you'll have a great season. I think you'll have a great season, yeah. but like maybe I think he's got to have a ridiculous season. Something else bites him in the in the in the, in the, in yeah, the end. No so, doubt. but that's well, what I, I got. Have, like, uh, so. Okay, with well, my bracket, I got the Seahawks beating the Vikings. Mm. I got the Niners beating the Packers. I got the Bucks beating the Cowboys. Mm, you love to see it. Then next round, I got the Bucks knocking off the number one seed Saints. Ooh, yeah, saucy yeah. Drew with and the then juice. I got, yeah, and then I got the Seahawks beating the Niners, so we got Bucks Seahawks NFC Championship. Oh, I love to see it, baby Drew. You gave me hype, son. I know, but I hate to knock it out from under you. I got the Seahawks oh. winning the NFC. I don't know Cut why, man. Beat. I don't know why, but when I sat down to do this, the Seahawks right. spoke to me. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I like they. They are a dangerous team, and not only that, but like. Russ just seems to make those dangerous throws, man, and dangerous plays, and they just like it's dangerous. just like it's it's like a for show. Sure. It's like it's almost like it's a play from God. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. it's just like yeah. drops it in there, especially like that that play. I think to, he uh, controls it, it was, in the air. That play to lock it last year, like he, it just like it was right in the corner of the end zone, and no one else could get it. Like they literally find no ways one else can get it when it's and when it's, the game is on the line. They find ways. Yeah. So I can I can see that happening, man. Um, but so what a your great NFC, NFC champion Seahawks. Game. Yeah, yeah. I would so, love. Uh, I got chills thinking about. It. Me too. I kind of I could see it. Like <laughs> that, that made the playoffs very very interesting for me. Uh, your scenario, but all right. So Saints get the bye. Um, I've got like Niners and Vikings. I am gonna take the Vikings. Honestly, like okay. if if all Dalvin right. Cook is, if Dalvin Cook is healthy. Okay. I, I'm taking the Vikings on that. Maybe okay. Kirk Cousins finally gets over to home. Then we get a um, Viking Saints <laughs> playoff game again. Again, <laughs> again. yeah, yeah. Uh, you love it. You love it. Yeah, I do. Uh, I love it. So that would mean Seahawks and Packers. Uh, I'm going with the Seahawks in that too. Yeah, going with the Seahawks in that, and then the Cowboys and Bucks. I'm going with the Bucks, honestly. Yeah, uh, in yeah. that I one think as y'all well. Pick so apart that defense. Yeah, I I think with the weapons that we have, we it would be a good matchup. And how we would also be doing it in Jerry's Jerry's world too. Oh, so be, like that would be, be even great. more. Brady would be, be teasing the whole time. So what does that mean? Uh Seahawks got, and Yeah, you got Saints, Vikings, uh, Seahawks, Bucks. Seahawks, Bucks, Saints, Vikings. Uh I'm taking the Saints. Just due okay. to the fact that the <laughs> yeah, yeah. one, the ref's probably not gonna screw them three <laughs> times in a row. Uh, you wouldn't think, but I also didn't or, think or, they or did life. Twice. I mean, the Minnesota Miracle is the Minnesota Miracle. Nothing happened on that play, but like I I'm mean, so they glad got I got to watch that. that live. Oh yeah, I, oh god, man, it was so great. Um, but I'm taking the Saints uh, in the rematch. They just, they just, they they get it done this year. Finally Sean Payton is not okay. letting them okay. do that again. Um, nah, nah. If all right, so all right, so Saints in that matchup, and then Bucks and Seahawks. Um, the Bucks are the higher seed. The Seahawks have to come to Tampa. Um, oh God, man, Drew, why you? Why do I do this to myself? It's my scenario. 
Oh, uh, <laughs> right. I was about, this I'm, is in your brain. Uh, I'm. Oh God, I'm thinking about it, man. Like I, my heart says the Bucks, but like I just. You know what? Give me the Bucks on the road, man. I mean, okay. not on the road, but give me the Bucks at home in a weird. I think, in like a weird I said, things game, will be man. clicking, man. Yeah, give me the Bucks. In Brady, a game. Brady, two, Brady with the two minute drive. Yeah. So, I mean, Saints and Bucks. Uh, I, I'm gonna go with the Saints. God, oh, I hate no. myself, man. Oh, okay. Go I ahead. like. I I just I just I see it I hate myself. like especially like <laughs> <laughs> especially like them going like that big of a game in yeah. New Orleans and the man NFC like NFC championship game yeah, Bucks Saints I, that's the, yeah oof. that is that's wild man I I unfortunately I would take the Saints because okay. the Bucks are the younger team and that's the yeah. only reason why like they're the okay. younger team even Maybe with seventy-two-year-old Tom Brady, yeah, they're still the younger team. <laughs> nice dig. It was. It was like so nat. Like it was. It came out your mouth so natural. I almost <laughs> didn't even hear it. Like I my hatred didn't even for Brady it. comes out just flawlessly. It's okay. Yeah, it was. It, it's just like it rolls natural <laughs> off the tongue. It's almost like a second language. Like you know. Thanks. Um. But yeah. So I got the Saints, man. So you got uh, Saints, the Ravens in the Super Bowl. Yes. Go Ravens. Who's and I got Seahawks, Chiefs. You got Ravens winning the whole thing. If that's the scenario, yeah. But in your scenario, okay. I'm, I'm. I got Chiefs. Uh, I'm taking the Chiefs. Yeah, I got I'm taking Chiefs. The Chiefs. Repeating. Yeah, my Super Bowl. Would, champs, would I, it would be a hell of a game. Seahawks. Seahawks. Chiefs would be a hell of a game, bro. Yeah, that'd be a hell well, of a this, game. This this leads into my MVP. I got Russell Wilson as MVP this year. Okay. I'm thinking my scenario for it to work. Russell Wilson's got to be the league MVP. Re- weirdly enough, I got Danger Russ Wilson winning the MVP. Really. That's I do insane. have him winning MVP. We did not yeah. talk about these picks beforehand. We this did not. Crazy. Nope. M- MVP well, of the league, I have Russell Wilson, yes. He's due. <laughs> he <Again>. is. <laughs> he's due. He is. Yep, he is. Uh, offensive player of the year got Patty Mahomes. Uh, you know, like I always feel like that's the nod to the person that didn't win the MVP that also went off. Right, so, yeah. Patty, and, and, and go off he will. And go off he oh, no will. Uh, offensive player of the year, Patrick Mahomes. Like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is yep. Well, I definitely yeah, yeah, think yeah, yeah. So our, I, uh, I definitely don't think you're gonna have this pick because I I kind of got a bit of a bold prediction here with my defensive player of the year. Okay. The De, DeForest Buckner for the Colts. Defensive player of the year for yeah. And that's right. That's I mean that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I because I mean also in my scenario the Colts defense got to be stout. And I think and that means he great. that means he is earning that. That paycheck, man. To four, I think he will with the Colts. I think, yeah. I think, I think, I think uh, there's uh, giddiness in Indianapolis. I think the Colts are excited. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I think, I think they seem to be coming together. Shout out to Jacoby Brissett for still being a leader, even though he's not necessarily the starter. True, you know, true. And like, whole like team you said, signed up to vote. Oh yeah, that 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 is that's a huge shout to him, man. Like keep yeah. keep doing your thing, man. Um, no, that is that is great for him. Uh, what I was gonna say is you was talking about the giddiness of the and the, and you could feel it, man. Like it's just something oh, like yeah. they haven't felt this way in like a since long Peyton time. So like it's yeah. right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, well, since well, Luck I mean, left town, like really, like you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, I've already erased it from a memory. Does that break, right. break my heart? What if we in in some weird scenario? I mean, like, what if he actually comes back? Like, who does he play for? So many questions. Like, who does he play for? What if who what has if, his rights? What do if, they want to bring him back in? Like, what? What if? Uh, Dak leaves Dallas and Dallas brings in Andrew Luck. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Oh, oh that's, that's my nightmare. That would fuel be right there. Yeah, that would be. Ooh, ooh. ooh. Yeah, I don't want to think. I mean, I, I, you I feel know. dirty for saying it. Right. Talk about racial injustices. I mean, yeah. like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> whoa, buddy. Whoa. Who you got? Uh, Who you got as your defensive player of the year? Defensive player of the year. Um. I maybe this is a bold prediction with this, but they give it to the person who should have won it last year in Sack Barrett of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. There yes, is. they should have given mean, Shaq Barrett, baby. Shaq Barrett gets his yeah. defensive player of the year, his recognition on a big stage. Obviously, that means he continued to monster uh and beast yeah, yeah. other teams. You know what I'm saying? So like yeah. I got Shaq Barrett winning it, man. Like, just okay. to be honest with you. All right, so so my offensive rookie of the year, I got and I feel like you're going to say the same thing based off of what you said earlier. I yeah. got Jonathan Taylor for the Colts. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> I Let's drafted go. him last year or last night in our fantasy football league. That was and you I'm sticking with it. That was me. Yeah, I 
John Taylor, man. John Taylor, offensive rookie of the year. I got John Taylor written down because yep. I just I, I see him starting very early, being a, a hell of a dynamic runner. Uh, Should have yeah. been more of a leading candidate for the Heisman last year. Um, Why was he not? Just, like, he put up those numbers. I mean, like, but it's Wisconsin. Like, it's like, uh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like those those running backs. Like, it's, that's that's yeah. what it is. Like, they're going to be yeah. good every year. So, um, but John Taylor, Offensive Rookie of the Year, man, lockstep. So, who you yeah. got for Defensive Rookie of the Year? I bet we're going to say the same thing. I got Jeff Okuda from the Lions. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, all right. That's, you, I think you, he shines like, you, on a terrible team. <laughs> you really high on him too. You really high on him. Defensive rookie of the year, I have uh, Chase Young. No surprise Ooh, there. Yeah, okay. Chase Young, defensive. He's rookie been looking of the year. like a, a man child in uh, the the tra- in training. That's exactly the word that I was going to say as a man child, man. Like we <laughs> we just we're, we're he just looks another, like he's uh, he's like so muscular he doesn't realize it yet. So he's just coming yeah. across the end of the quarterback. He like, oh. he seems like that rare rookie who like scares veteran players like you know what i'm saying like when they line up in, against them in the one-on-ones you know what i mean like he like like you they, gotta think poor twice. alex you gotta think poor alex smith just has like flashbacks when he sees him coming at him like just yep. like oh please don't hurt my leg <laughs> yeah I, I would be everybody <laughs> oh. everybody um but who you have you got for, coach uh coach, coach coach of the year uh I, you know who i'm about to say baby Big nuts, Bruce, Bruce baby. There it is. Bruce Arians. You know it's coming. <laughs> okay. Bruce gets that right. team over the hump, gets them back in the playoffs, man. You know what it is. Who you got? Okay. I got Mike Vrabel for the Titans. Very good yeah. choice, man. Yeah. Very good choice. Yeah. 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 I, I like it. You'll figure it out. Any uh, any bold predictions you want to throw out there? Um, Bold predictions. I mean, bold prediction. Let's, let, let's make it bold. Weirdly enough, I – reverse my bias and my hate and i say cam newton is in the top four for mvp top four all right top four hey, in the running for it. mvp in okay. new england all right yeah i all see right. that that's my bold it. prediction okay my bold prediction what you got? i tweaked a little bit from what i thought originally i think uh hopkins with arizona okay will have more receiving yards than the top two texans receivers combined Oh, so you giving them an accolade and then digging at the Texans at the same time. Oh, yeah. I like it. Oh, yeah. I like it. Yep. Okay. More Bill receiving. Bill O'Brien, yards. enjoy your last year as the coach of the Houston Texans. Yeah, you GM, you president, there, bro. owner, whatever you are. You about to get up out of there. I You're see done. it. I see it, yeah. man. So uh yeah. I guess that that uh what what I, I liked I liked it. I think our predictions are solid that was though. Fun. I think our predictions that was are fun, solid, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. So Well uh lead up. us into your fantasy football side All right, of things. Here sir. we go, here we go, man. So fantasy, fantasy. Everybody's talking about fantasy. Is that time of the year you want to present like you want to put yourself in position to obviously be in the mix at the late late in the season, right? Get in the playoffs and be dangerous. You know what I'm saying? As as they say. So, Drew, I feel like there's definitely a couple of things that you a couple of do's and don'ts that you definitely want to do uh before your draft or like by the time that you get to your draft, right? Like you got a couple of rundowns you want to make. Um yep. the first thing that that I always do if I want to have a great season is make a draft board like you already know which players that you like Sudsy's right so whatever board. right <laughs> exactly so you already know uh what players you like just go through okay. the top players and then kind of rank them yourself on where you want them figure out how many people are in your league whether you got a 10 or a 12 team league and then just mark it off round by round and then you'll kind of know uh where you want to select players and who is still available that you might already have higher on your board that's still available, so you think you got to gotcha. steal. Are you right? a are you a mock draft kind of guy? Do you hit up some mock drafts before? Um, only the day before. Like I don't really look into it that much, but I do make myself a, a draft board of like the top one hundred players or or so. Okay. Like and then kind of figure it out from there. Um, and that way I, I just feel like it, it helps me prepare because like you know I just if you if you do fantasy take it seriously don't don't quit halfway through the season that's, right because that's right. what like. Cause I don't, I'm down to one league a year, or maybe two. I, I do two. D league, yeah. So, yeah. and I mean, I I I want to enjoy it, and part of that is knowing the person that I'm up against is trying their hardest to beat me. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like I don't want to win. Exactly. Like I've won those leagues where someone at work is like, "Ooh, let's do fantasy football. It'll be fun." And I'm like, "I'm gonna murder all of you." <laughs> and I won, <laughs> and it didn't feel good. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I don't. Yeah, yeah. So I want that person that I'm up against to give me their best shot. 
Yeah, I finished last right. last year in our league. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm okay to admit that because we had we finally put together a league of people that actually played. Like, yes. I had a great time last year. Everyone yeah, took it seriously. Did. It's all friends and family. You know what I mean? So the, yeah. the trash talking is light and and wholesome, but uh, it, it was fun. <laughs> yeah, I uh, and I think I came in seventh last year. I think it said, but uh, we both had definitely not where. It's okay. Yeah, not where okay. I wanted to go. We'll not where back. I wanted to go. That's why it changed. We'll be That's back. why it changed this year. For sure, yeah. for sure. Um, <laughs> but the second thing, it kind of leads into like the second part, man. Is like whenever you're drafting, just don't panic. You know what I'm saying? Like if you may, if you're if you're a little bit prepared, like if somebody takes your player, you already got a good backup. You know where you're going with your team, right? Like, yeah. uh, so don't panic. Uh, another okay. thing that I would definitely say is I, I I was thinking of it too, man. I I heard you say I heard you say <laughs> it. I was thinking of it too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, but use whatever team you have, right? Whatever your team is, use your team's knowledge, your personal team's knowledge to your advantage. Whether like if you got a young rookie that you know is gonna start over like a a vet that everybody's drafting, right? Yeah. Pick the rookie. Like just wait a little bit later in the draft. Nobody's gonna know. Uh, like pick the rookie stash, and, and, and game from rookies. it. Stash him. Exactly. Yeah. So um and then like my last real key is like <clears throat> be a waiver wire vulture, man. Like you have oh, to like out. scour the way. Like literally, I will be um and maybe this is like giving a little bit too much strategy, but like I'll be watching the game as soon as a person goes down on the field. I'm on the waiver wire, like looking up yep. their next. I do the same. Their, who's, Have who's your computer them. nearby. Exactly. Your During phone, something like that. Super, and that's like, it's, it's super easy to do. Just pull up the app and like, yeah. look who's right behind them and then like pick that person up. And then like, you could always drop them. You got to be strategic with waiver priorities. But if it's like a big name and you know, this person that's behind the person that went down with an injury is going to benefit like Go for it. from being in the starting spot burn that waiver priority man and get that get that player man and and, and run that player right into the playoffs you know what i'm saying so no doubt. that's yeah. that's what I you mean, need to do usually your top few scorers aren't somebody that you drafted anyway you know yeah so. yep exactly so i gotta like also so now that we went through that i got a couple of questions that like you know just just some questions i want to ask you drew but first question being what round like usually you come into uh the season with some sleepers right like that you some guys that you want to pick some targets that you know might be yeah, available yeah. which <clears throat> round do you target those sleepers like what which round do you target those sleepers so my sleepers what is there 15 rounds i usually target my sleepers depending yeah depending i usually target my sleepers around 11 11 12 13 okay because so i mean 15 used for a kicker i do a kicker yeah 15 like i don't right. whatever i'm gonna end up dropping him 13 times you know what i mean like okay. getting somebody else yep. uh so yeah like 11 through 14 is when i make some some gambles because i've already okay. got my starters and i got like some quality backups like let's yeah let's go for broke you know what i mean because usually those players that you draft in that uh range at least for me at least uh is players i'm going to use to drop when if i'm picking somebody up anyway so might as well go for a home yeah. run swing on the draft, knowing they're probably not going to be on my team come season end. Okay, yeah, I mean that's 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 like that's good sound strategy. So like eleven to fourteen, like that that for me like that's like deep sleeper, like deep sleeper. But somebody that yeah. you might be able to write like literally nobody sees coming. Um, for me, I tend to target mine like a little earlier because I want okay. like I want that immediate. I'm I'm an instant gratification guy. Like I want <laughs> okay. I I want that immediate production. You know what I'm saying? So like maybe anywhere from rounds like maybe six to ten. Like I'll target a sleeper because okay. I still want starter quality. So like my sleepers yeah. aren't deep, but there's somebody who might be like uh, a number one on a team like running back tight end whatever it is but like maybe that's due for uh an increase in production for whatever purposes like maybe the new gotcha. offensive coordinator is tight end favorable or whatever well, it could be but guard like, or tackle right some, something like that so you know somebody's gonna yeah. benefit so uh, usually six to ten for me um gotcha. now are you drafting a quarterback before round four guilty oh uh, this past not well just hear me out I I also do my homework, and there was two players last year in the Yahoo format scoring. Wait, 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 Tom, Tom, just let's 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 back up a little bit. So wait, you you before you even get into that, let's address the situation. This man didn't even say yes to the question; he just said guilty. So you knew he yeah. felt bad about that. Like yeah. he didn't even say yes but, to the question. But continue, my fault. I but I feel like I gotta explain myself because I used my second pick <laughs> this year on a quarterback. Right. 
Okay. I had the 10th pick in a 10-team league, so I had picks 10 and 11, knowing I wasn't going to get picks again until 30 and 31. Okay. So okay. I went, like I said, last year there was two players that dropped over 400 points in the Yahoo scoring. Christian McCaffrey and Lamar Jackson. So that I got myself did, a man. running back slash quarterback. <laughs> I love the line. So, oh, oh my God, Drew, Drew! I just, I just figured this out. We're playing each other week one. Week one, week one, week son. Week one. We're playing week each one. other week one. I'm about to, I'm about to whoop that ass, bro. I'm about to whoop yeah, that yeah, ass. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Right, I'm gonna tell you, you can't oh. mess with my combo of Chubb and and Jackson. Uh, Mr. I, like, Mr. I really, Brown's I just, over there. Mr. Brown's over there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. See, you gonna the, get beat like, by your own. All head. the di- all the <laughs> dynamics are thrown off. All the dynamics are thrown off when it comes to like fantasy and like real yeah. allegiances and predictions. It's like all the stars are <laughs> you crossed. Gotta pull for teams man. you don't want to. Like you right. got to. This is weird. That's that's what football is. That's why I love it. That's why I love the game, bro. That's why I love the yep. game. Yep. Um. All right. So like me, I guess if I like honestly, I had to, I had the chance to draft one of those quarterbacks. I did not. I thought it was a little early. I didn't know it was you. I thought it was a little early. It was me. But that's, <laughs> that you. But you banking on that? Like you, you. I knew were, we weren't like, going to be there at on, thirty. I knew someone else was going right. to take. And like someone got Patrick Mahomes in the first round of our draft this year. Yeah, somebody took him mad early. Chris, mad Chris Mara, early. I see you. I see you. Chris. Yeah. So I mean, that's. I guess for me, like, it's just that's a little bit too risky for me because, like, if those dudes don't ball out to the level that they balled out last year, yeah, it's going to hurt your fantasy team, right? Like, Oh, if, no doubt. If, but, I mean, you're talking about a kid that went, came in last place last year, so I had to switch it up a little bit. Swing know, like for the went, fences. I mean, I feel broke. you. I feel you. Got to do it, man. I like it. Um, Yeah, so I, me personally, nah, I'm not doing it because it's too much depth at the position. Um, Dak Prescott was like one of the the highest fantasy scorers last year from the front at the position, and he's a guy that I know ain't nobody take before round four. You know what I'm saying? Like, what he go like fifth or sixth for us? Uh, I want to say yes, but it was early enough that somebody probably saw his value, right? I think probably last year he was going later than that. So, um, that gets me into my third question. Um. PPR players versus, or not necessarily a question, but topic, but PPR players versus non-PPR players. Now, just talking about targets, man, like how do you, like you've played in the PPR league, so like how do you navigate those two leagues yourself? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and we just converted our, our yearly league to PPR. So this is our first year with that, so that'll be fun. This, this is a P, I, I just, what? The, what? This is news we put to it me. Up for vote like two months ago. Everyone. Oh dang! I just realized. You that. Keep I just up. realized. Rule that. number one of fantasy football: be active in your fantasy football chat. <laughs> my face is like shocked. The commission's out like, there trying. The commission. No, my job face is, is like shocked. I'm actually like I'm thinking about it like, and I've got a lot of I've got a lot of volume guys on my team, so I, I should be all right. But like, okay. it, I guess I like kind of lead into my own question, but it's a very different strategy for lead. me. Like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> know your league. Oh my god, that's that's hilarious, man! I didn't even know. I'm asking a question. Oh, I didn't even know. So good. That's so good. Yeah. I'm so glad I got to break that news to you on our football podcast. <laughs> hey, Sean, we're playing I'm, a PPR league. I'm horrible. I'm horrible. <laughs> uh, but it's a totally different strategy for me, though. Like, yeah, it's yeah. a totally different strategy. But like, it, anybody who knows me, like knows that this is probably part of the course for me is like that's no, no, that's some i'm not shocked stuff to happen yeah definitely oh that's why when i saw your face i was like he doesn't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah i had no idea uh but yeah definitely different strategy for me like in ppr leagues you i i want to go volume like i want to get production obviously but if you're Going if you're getting tar- like target share receivers. yeah if you're getting yeah. target share love it let's do it like you know what i'm saying like because you're getting yeah. points on the back end so in, in addition so um now my my last question for for you drew is like yeah what do you like in a defense that makes you target that defense or or lack thereof like in in, in the draft i to be honest with you man um i i put a lot of stock in uh how good the team did last year defense wise mm-hmm. and if they kept those players together like I'm, I'm looking for a consistency because you always can pick up a flash in the pan defense that, that yeah. wrecks shop. You know what I mean? Like I, I there was many years where no one drafted the Eagles or the Patriots, and I picked them right. up like week three or four, and they yeah. were my defense for the rest of the year. So okay. I look for a consistency. You know, like uh, like right. tradition of 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 putting up numbers. Like 
there's been many a year where I just selected the Patriots. Not this year because they lost too many players. <laughs> but there's many years where I was like, I was in a situation where defenses went too early for me in the draft, so I waited a little bit, and I was like, ah, yeah. New England's there. I'm good. You know, and right. just pick them up. Serviceable you know, enough, so. yeah. Yep. Yeah, I've, I've also, uh, this year I've tried a different strategy. I went with two defenses, um, just so I can, two like higher level defenses as far as I'm concerned. Uh, right. That way I can see who takes off in the season a little bit and then also not have to fight people maybe for uh, a good defense if that doesn't, True. If, and if then like if one doesn't really take off. If if one of them does, then that's a roster spot that you could easily get rid of, you know oh, what I'm no saying? Doubt. Yeah, I'm not so, going to carry two defenses for the long run. Right, all, but, yeah, you no, know, nah, that, that makes sense. Um, For me, like, I guess that kind of leads into my next question, man, is like are also, or not next question, but kind of a spinoff of this question, but like yeah. are you a fan of streaming defenses? Do you stream defenses from week to week uh, no, in, your, I, in your opinion? No, that's too, that's too much for me. Like I like, yeah. like if, I, if I definitely am a matchup guy, you know what I mean? Right, like if, okay. If my two defenses that I've got, I don't like the matchup, I'll definitely drop one for a better matchup. Okay. Uh, but I like to I like to get defense. If I'm picking up a defense, I'm usually using them for like two three weeks. Like I look at future okay. matchups. Like right. I'll, I'll I'll do like the average of the two matchups coming up. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I definitely have chased that that tail before. You know, okay. picking a new defense every week because I I, yeah. I got stuck with some of the lower end defenses one year, and it yeah. just it, I never picked the right one on the right week. You know? I got you. Yeah. Okay. I got you. What about you? Um, What's your defensive strategy? You pick a team so and roll like, with it? Like, what do you do for it? For the beginning of the season, and then, like, honestly, when it gets into the meat and potatoes of it, man, like, I would str- – I'll, I'll stream a defense based on a matchup. Like, if I know some – like, I'll pick – but I'll keep – well, I'll keep the, the consistent defense – for a longer period of time whatever that may be but like i'll drop a defense quick and then like stream a defense based on matchup okay so i got somebody that's coming up playing miami and miami sucks yeah i'm streaming that defense for that week you know what i'm saying at least because i know there's there's definitely been been years where i've been like who are the jets playing (laughs) right yeah so there's there's a floor there that i know that defense is going to give me and hopefully you don't get burned by like the one great offensive performance from a bad team right so right they just go off for 42 points when Exactly, because that's really like, that's another thing that I look at is who gives up the fewest points. You know what I mean? Because you can salvage so, a, a mediocre defensive performance if all they give up is fourteen points. You know what yeah, I mean? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's I dig another it. thing so, I look at. Well, cool, man. This is uh, that's our previews. We've done all of our twenty twenty previews. Now uh, next week yep. you get to see the 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 show. So yep. we got some fun things coming at you. We get ready for week one next week. Uh, I'm so I'm Drew. We, we get football. We, we get football, bro. Like it's actually I'm off, about to happen. I'm off that weekend. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make a weekend. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, great. I'm gonna light some candles. Yeah. I'm gonna put my bathrobe oh. on. Oh, oh do it. Fun. Do it, man. <laughs> make sure pants. You got to do a pantsless. You got to do a pantsless. Right? Oh, I mean, I'm in my own house. Why? Why do you have a house if you can't? If you got to exactly, pants? exactly. You're doing it right. Uh, now yeah. I gotta work, man. But like, uh, hopefully. <laughs> I know. I got to work and I'm on call, man. But hopefully, like, some things will go right. I'll be able to watch the Bucks game at least. You know what I'm saying? But I so is life. I'll be on that so Red Zone life. channel all day. Hey, I love it, man. Gotta just, like, it. Crack, crack a couple open for me, man. Like, do, do what I you will. do. Oh, I will. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm excited, man. We get football back. Drew, uh, what you got, man? Where you at? Well, uh, hit me up on Instagram, at Laugh with Harrison, all one word. Uh, check out DrewHarrisonComedy.com. For all of our past episodes and some other content, got some sketches coming your way soon. Uh, follow us on that Instagram channel, man. Nickel underscore dime football. Yes, posting yes. daily. Hit us up. Yeah, and uh, at the kids us on Twitter, and just like Drew said, man, at nickel underscore dime football. Um, can't give it any better than this, man. We we made it, folks. Like we made it to this point. Like we about to get football back. We got one more week, man. One more week of yeah. actual games. Thursday night, kicking it off with Houston and the Chiefs. Uh, follow wait. us, man. Hit us up. Let us know what you think. Any questions that y'all have, man? Let's get out of here, man. I, I yeah. love it. Hit that subscribe button on YouTube and uh, follow us on uh, SoundCloud now. Thanks to to Sudzy there. We're up on SoundCloud. So if you're just chilling out in the car oh, on the yes. long drive, listen to all of them. Listen to the pie, baby. I forgot all about that. How, how can yeah, I do yeah. that? Like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, Get on SoundCloud, baby. <laughs> hey. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you next week.